y'all come. Hi all, thanks for joining me today. So um, right now I'm bringing manure out. How does everybody else empty their manure in the winter? What I'm gonna be showing you today is, well, it's just a random, random vlog again, but I wanna show you our snow. I'm gonna show you what it was like on Monday, and I don't know if I got any footage yesterday or not, but I'll show you kind of what we've been dealing with the last few days. We got a total of three feet of snow since um, Monday morning. So we've gotten a lot of snow and now today it's Wednesday afternoon. So we got lots and lots and lots of snow in the last couple of days. Okay, let's see what kind of mess is outside this big door. Bummer. Ugh. Well, that's a bummer. Porter potty's full of snow. We got a lot of snow last night. Oh my gosh. It is April 15th and we got we got a couple feet of snow. This giant snowball I put here with the tractor when we were plowing, it was all coming up in big clumps like this. So I pushed this snowball up to the bank here because I knew that he's already eating it. Boy, I'll get pieces off for you. But we definitely got no. a lot of snow. almost every day. She sits in the, on the top of the stalls or in the rafters and just meows at me, acting like she needs help. Hi Petra, aren't you sweet just waiting at the gate for me? I called her just before I went up to the arena um, and I was gonna come back and get her. I called her name and here she is waiting for me. She's so sweet. This is Nika, she is one of my, um, well, she's technically my husband's horse, so I have to give him that credit, but um, she's one of my heart horses. So we've had her for, oh, 15 years. She's 18 this year, and I just love her. She's the horse that is in my barrel racing video at the Great Lakes Rodeo, and um, she's just wonderful. I'm out catching Annabelle. I'm going to take her in today too. She's going to spend some time in the stall and she's licking me. Apparently I'm tasty. Annabelle's got a licking thing. She, she just loves to lick everything. So, you know, it's not something I would typically allow a horse to do, but it's just what she does. And um, I understand her in that, you know, it's just what she likes to do. So I'm not going to get upset with her over that. Honestly, I probably have salt on my vest from the dust caused in my arena or from um, carrying grain buckets or something like that, but she's just like licking me everywhere. <laughs> Not something I would let just any horse do because that's how you get bit and I'm totally taking a risk by allowing her to lick me. Today is Rosie's birthday. She's so sweet. And no day in the barn would be complete without my daily dose of clover. Here, Clover, show your face. Show your pretty little face. There she is. And she's just the cutest. She is the best barn kitty ever. I kind of have a bad feeling about going out in the pasture with the side by side. There's a lot of snow. And yesterday I had a heck of a time getting it back into the barn once I got out. Okay, here we go. I made it out of the building. Beautiful out. Oh my gosh. 
would never know that there's poop under that snow. It's just gorgeous. Today, Petra and I are going to work with a tarp, so we'll see what she thinks about that. Yep, that says it. There it is. It's terrifying. That right there, folks, that's scary. I'm going to do this with her <laughs> until it falls off. And if she spooks at it when it falls off, I'll do it again, and I'll just keep doing it over and over again until until she's totally cool with it. I do this, I do this until they just don't really even care anymore. She says, oh my goodness. That time she kinda, oh, there it goes. Here we go again. And here we go again. Here we go again. That's what I like to see. Might be going, almost. Oh, a little reaction. She says, what was that? Where did that come from? No reaction, just to stop and look at it. That's great. So if I do something dumb and just fall off my horse, that's what I want them to do. Stop and look at me and be like, why are you on the ground? So perfect. I'm really happy with that. Moving on to the next thing. Here's one of my favorite little things to do for groundwork. Now I'm going to just direct the camera towards Petra's feet, but I want you to watch her, her left front leg. Now watch that leg. I'm going to get it to come back forward while it's in midair. See how it just kind of swings? I call this pendulum exercise. Now watch the same foot while it's in air. I'm going to ask it to go back. Right now. Good. Oops, my timing was bad there. That was a nice one. Now, watch the right front. Now I'm going to work on the left hind. Good girl. Snow is all coming off the roof. Woo! It is going to blast down. I got one more foot left. Yeah, it's really creaking and cracking. It is gonna come down fast. While we're waiting for the snow to come sailing off the roof, I'm gonna keep working on this right hind leg. Oh, that was nice. Good girl. I can't say I've ever done this while holding a camera before. And it's really hard, because I kind of want to look at the screen instead of the horse's foot. Good, that was really nice. Awesome. Snow is really starting to come. It's slowly creeping down. There's Danny the horse girl sign. Ooh, there goes some. Good girl, Petra. Nice job, sweetheart. Snow falling off the roof is a really, really scary thing for a lot of horses. So this is nice to be able to be here with her. I'll make sure to get some video of outside too after this comes off so you can kind of see what happened. Let it go. I wonder how many broken windows I'm going to end up with now. Holy cow, that's a lot of snow up there. I'm out of breath because I just walked through that.
that is like probably two feet thick in the middle. Here it comes. Look at that. That glacier just fell off my roof. I just went to turn and walk away and I almost, there's my leg. <laughs> there's the dog. I just went to take a step and almost went face first in the snow. Look at that horse trailer. Isn't that crazy? It is buried. Well, what's left up on top of the roof will probably cover those windows. But the bad part is my windows are popping out. Ugh. Okay, so Clover does this every time. Watch as I walk by. She's she's sitting right there. Watch. Here we go again. <laughs> she only does it the one way as I'm leaving. Be nice to each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ace's first hobble training session was a good success. Little Miss is doing fantastic with her first hobbling session. She doesn't seem very phased at all. She did um, at first when she felt that she couldn't move her front legs very far. She did um, kind of go to, she just went to kind of step off and you know, and then she was stuck and she did just kind of kind of lift up a little bit in the front but came right back down and then just stood here nice as pie. So this is great. All the groundwork really pays off. It makes it makes these experiences just not a big deal to the horse. And this is gonna hopefully be good insurance for her future that if she should get tangled up in a fence or um, get caught in a tree branch, like that happened to me with my, um, my horse growing up, um, we don't have to be as concerned because there's a good chance that this horse is just going to stop and say, wait a minute, I know this, and give to the pressure of this instead of panicking and um, putting himself or the rider in pretty serious danger. So a lot of horses, they, they panic so bad that they, um, I've seen horses end up with a pretty mangled leg over this kind of stuff. So, so this is an excellent way to prevent future injuries and to keep a rider and the horse safe. Well, I'm very proud of Annabelle. She was so good today in the barn. Gosh, she probably spent six or seven hours in the stall today. So I, that's a really big deal for her. She she gets some she gets anxious in a stall. She doesn't like it. So right before um, I put hay out today, I brought her in. That way when she went in her stall, there's hay in there and all the things that she enjoys. So and her grain and all that. So she could just sit in the stall and munch and she saw horses coming in and out and she was fine with that. But I really need her to be okay in a stall because we haul her places, go to some shows, clinics, different things. And basically she just has to sit in a stall during the day sometimes because I've got lessons going on and, and she's one of my, my primary lesson horses. So it's really good for her to have to just sit and, and chill out in a stall. Now it's Petra's turn to go out. She probably feels like she's in jail at this point because everybody's left her. But at least she's standing and being relatively quiet. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Versatile Horsemanship. Um, <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. I just need snacks. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so ready. If you enjoyed watching this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Versatile Horsemanship YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.